guys, it's Nikki Platt again. Um, thanks again for tuning into my YouTube channel. You guys really made my day, week, month. You guys have really been embracing my YouTube videos, so thank you so much. I'm gonna keep thrifting. Sorry, I'm gonna fix the hair. Trying out a new hairstyle, I don't know. We'll say. We'll say. Anyway, so hi, Nikki Platt from Style Rehab. I have another haul for you by mixing it up. So the first two were thrifted hauls, and you loved them. So I'm gl I'm glad, and I'm gonna keep doing thrifted hauls. But I also I feel like people sometimes tr act like I'm a sellout or something if I shop somewhere else besides a thrift store, and I want to address that. I like crazy things. I mean, this jacket was on my last haul video, which I will link it here. Um, I like weird things. I like unusual things. I mean, love that. <laughs> love this too. Um, I like unusual things. So the thrift store, yes, is great because I can find things that like nobody else will have and I love that. Um, but also there are just stores or websites or whatever that I just love because they just have really quirky unique things. So I hope you don't think I'm a seller because I actually bought things off of the internet. Um, but sometimes you just need some cool new things, you know? So um, I want to address that. I'm not a sellout. I do I do like all kinds of things, but I primarily mostly am a thrift blogger, but I kind of round out with some other things as, as well, which most other thrift bloggers do too. So quit throwing shade at me. Okay, so let's get started. So these are kind of two things that I kind of bought like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, but I had a couple issues with one of them with sizes, so it took forever to exchange them and get them here and whatever. So I wanted to have them before I showed you because I wanted to ship them all back. So the first thing, I've never bought their stuff. I bought from Mod Cloth, and I know I've seen people like tag different Mod Cloth things and they've been super cute. Never shopped there. Looked at it a few times, wasn't really sure, was whatever. Well, they, for some reason, I don't have it, darn. They sent me like a little holiday catalog and it was fantastic. I mean, they had so many cute things. I was loving it. I was like, where have you been in my life? Then I turned the page to this coat. This coat. I turned the page to this like, wait, gotta get in there. They're like birds. This bird coat with this faux fur collar. I mean, this bad boy jumped off the page at me jumped off the page at me freaking fracking loved it it does have a self belt i just it's on the floor over there because that's how i roll here people <laughs> super i wish you could see like the nonsense that's happening around the room but hide that from you um i loved this coat Ooh, you can see my size whatever it is what it is um so i went to order it and it said um a little pricey definitely not a thrift a thrift store price at all um, but I love a coat. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed. I love a good statement coat. Cause I mean, you could have like a crap outfit. You just throw on some just kick ass coat and like you're killing it. So this coat, little pricey, not a thrift store price. Um, I never ordered from them. So I was, wasn't sure about the sizing. And it's like a UK sizing, which is even more screwed up cause we Americans have bigger sizes. So I actually, and I don't usually ever measure myself when I order stuff. I usually just like wing it and just kind of hope for the best, but I actually measured myself. So I measured like my boobs and I thought I was like bigger up top than I was in the bottom. But so it was weird because like the smaller size, my boobs fit, but my hips didn't. But then the bigger size, my boobs didn't fit. I don't know, it was really, it was really weird. So I ordered two. Order two, the smaller one worked. We kept the smaller one. Then I forgot what magazine I was flipping through, like the December issue of like In Style or L. And what do you know? Lo and behold, who's in the magazine? This girl is. So now I know why the it has pockets too. So now I know why the uh, quantities were selling out pretty fast. My only complaint, it's not really a complaint, is that it's like quilted inside. So it's actually I have the hiccup, sorry. So it's actually meant to keep you warm, which you don't really need that in Florida, but you know, hey, um, probably asking why I, ha I bought so many coats, which you'll see. Um, I guess I'm just confused about where I live or in denial, um, but I do hope to travel with work one day. I need to, to wear coats somewhere, but also, you know, I will sweat for fashion, so I will wear this coat in 75 degree weather. I mean, look at that. Birds, birds, y'all. Okay gonna put her away. So this is my first mod cloth purchase. The smaller size did work. Return the bigger size, everything was a-okay. Then they had this really cute, and I have a gold lame skirt, which I actually get a lot of use out of. I know that sounds crazy. Like I can think of an outfit for that gold lame skirt. 
left, right, and center. But you give me like a beige skirt and I'm like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to work with that. I don't know. If it's not crazy, I don't know how to style it. Just kidding. But anyway, seriously. So I have a million outfits I do with the gold. So I, when I saw, again, mod cloth, when I saw this bad boy, silver lame crinkle skirt, I don't, I had to have it. I don't love this kind of gnarly elastic waistband. I don't love that so much. So um, you, gotta, you gotta hide that or belt it or something. But I do love the skirt. I cannot wait to wear it with an outfit. Probably gonna wear it on TV. Um, love it love the skirt i didn't measure myself for this one i just sized up and that was way too big so i had to return a lot of returning happening I had to return the big one and get the smaller one and it was fine so maybe measure yourself if you don't want to return things all the time okay the next store i ordered from is asos and i feel like i was hella late to the asos game um yeah, I don't know why. Okay, here's why. So I see everybody on Instagram, oh, my ASOS, my ASOS, my ASOS. And I'm like, really? So I guess, this was a long time ago. Oh, maybe six or seven years ago, I ordered from ASOS Curve. And maybe it, was, it probably was what I ordered. It wasn't the best item to re represent the whole company. Um, I ordered like from their like plus size line, like a stretchy plaid skirt. And when it got here, it just wasn't, the greatest quality. I wasn't impressed with it. I sent it back. But they also, which is what River Island does, they charge you like that like conversion rate or whatever, that $3. And I know I blogged about this before. That rate annoys me. And I know it's only $3 and you're like, what's the big, sorry, I feel like my hair's fly got rained on today. I feel like you're probably like, what's the big deal? But it just pisses me off. So I think between like the bad quality of the skirt, and the $3 like UK to US not driving fee, just kind of like, just, I was like, whatever, like who needs you? Like there's so many other good US stores, who needs you? Um, so I just didn't do ASOS, I was like, no, 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 no. Then I feel like 2018, I discovered ASOS, again, or rediscovered or whatever, and they don't charge you that fee anymore, so thank you, because River Island does, and I won't order from them ever again. Um, again, it's $3, but it just really annoys me. Um, so there's that. So um, I feel like I was like hella late to the ASOS game. Like everyone, all these bloggers, all these fashion people are just going crazy for ASOS. And I'm just like over here like, that is kind of cute. Like, all right, maybe I'll try it. So a few bloggers that I follow and I will link who they are because I'm going to slaughter her. She's a plus size blogger in Arkansas. I am curvy beaut or whatever, or beauty curve. Anyway, she's fantastic because she has the best style. Like no offense to the skinny bloggers, but this girl, is killing it like and she's plus size which you would think would be even harder to be a good plus size blogger but she's a fantastic fashionista i will put her link below because she's amazing check her out um so i'm back to asos and i'm loving them i've been ordering from them all year long loving them they had a big black friday still like 25 percent off the whole site so i racked up and, th and if, if you follow me on instagram you saw that i was like took a picture of like good mail day and i was like good thing i got here before my husband got home so i'm gonna have to sneak those in okay so let's start with this dress so this dress i actually saw from that fellow blogger the plus size blogger so it's like a fringy long dress with more fringe it's super cute oh whatever's not so, like it's still available i will link so i'll put this link it is super cute like spaghetti strap with the fringe it's like half hanging out and half real like how freaking cute is this? It's a, again, a little pricey, but just so stinking cute. With like the little prairie, like, like here, let's zoom, zoom in. Right, so, so, bad color, there you go. So stinking cute. Um, the fringe is like a little wonky. I wonder if I can just seam it out. You know what I mean? Like it's a little like curly, curly cues. I can just steam that out, I'm assuming. So I love this dress. I bought this dress, I freaking love it. I wonder if it's, you can see through, because always technical difficulties here. The white is a little sheer. I wonder if you can see through that. I wonder if we're going to have like a wardrobe malfunction at work. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, so check, check your undergarments before you leave the house in this. But I will link this. It's super cute. Um, true to size, right? Got, got my size. Got my size. Yep. And I'm busty and it's good. Um, this right dark kind of does something weird in the boob, but whatever. I still love it. 
Um, I have several, or not several, I think I have two, of the ASOS like kimono style jumpsuits. It's just an olive jumpsuit. looks really big in the picture here. So it's like kimono style here, and then it like cinches it in the waist, and then it kind of has like a flared pant. I had to go a size up in this, and I had to return the smaller size because it kind of got tight. You can't see what I'm po poking at, but kind of got tight in the thigh area. So I wanted to go up a size, so she came in yesterday. So here she is. I have a fabulous statement necklace. It's black and white. It's going to look so kick-ass with this. Um, can't wait to wear it. And then I've got some cool things to wear it in the summertime. Perfect. I think it's like a cropped pant. So you see my fabulous shoe. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Cute, right? Basic. Cute. Now the coats, y'all. I don't know where I think I live again, um, but I have a coat obsession. Coats, blazers, wool sweaters, you name it. I have a severe problem. Um, I love them. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm not going to try to rationalize it. I have a problem and I can't help that. So we'll just start off with, with a bang. So, oh, the next, okay. So I wanted a teal coat because this other blogger, Miss Lion Hunter, I think she's in like Nova Scotia. She's plus size. She's fantastic. I will try to put her something below too. She had this outfit. It was like a burgundy skirt or something, a burnt orange top and a teal jacket. And I was like, I need a teal coat in my life because this outfit is killer and I want to recreate it. So ASOS had this fabulous like wrap teal fur collar. I know it looks a mess. Hang on. Let me try to, let me like tie it up and try to zhuzh it so it looks somewhat decent for you folks. I just tried everything on and like threw it on the guest bedroom and then I like try to like film real quick before I like talk myself out of it and then now we're here. So that's kind of why everything's a little like so, I mean, I was thinking cute is this coat. So the coat is like teal, so gorgeous. And the collar is like an ombre, which I'm kind of okay with. I didn't realize that in the picture. Um, it's just a long wool coat. I think it has, has pockets. I just, I freaking love it. Um, I love it. I don't know what else there's to say about this coat. It's great. Um, this actually does, so here's a little style hack. This actually does unbutton. So if you wanted to like throw it over like an another coat, Hell, even like a sweater. Like I'll just put like a sweater, like a sweater and that mud cloth skirt on, and I throw a folk for color over my sweater. Like, whatever, super cool. Then also you can also take the same fur, unbutton it, add, add it to your other coat to make those look more fabulous. Like I do that all the time. Like it's such a great style hack. Adding any kind of faux fur color just makes everything look in instantly more interesting. So yeah, like a basic black coat. And you're like, oh, I want a new coat, but I can't afford one. Just even if you bought, hang on, let's put this down. Even if you bought like a little faux fur like wrap thing, I got this from Express end of last season sale, and I just throw this over your like black coat, you just instantly look so much, it just looks so much more rich and chic. And all you're doing is adding like a $10 fur, like faux fur over it. It's a little style hack from me to you. Merry Christmas. Um, turn it around. Okay, so next coat, I have a thing for tapestry fabrics. And I know if like a guy's watching, which I don't think a guy's gonna be watching because what guy watches fashion videos? Um, or what straight guy anyway? I know people are gonna say like, oh, look, looks like your grandma's couch or curtains. So what? It does. I don't care, I freaking love it. I love tapestry. So when I saw this coat on ASOS, I think I posted on my Instagram, like I have a coat problem. I bought it, I bought them all, bought them all. Um, love this coat, it is long. Um, with this tapestry fabric, with this faux, fabulous fur. And I kind of like that it's only on like half the coat. This does not button off. This actually just kind of stays on, which I'm, I'm fine with too. I don't care. Um, so stinking cute. So fabulous. I do wish, it's like a little gray. I wish maybe it was a little bit more purple, but I'm not mad at it. It's still pretty do doggone cute. Um, the story with this guy, I ordered size bigger than I guess I would be just maybe like to allow some room so I have like fat arms um I actually so I went up a size this is actually two sizes down from that two sizes down two sizes down so it is a little large and in charge and the arm fit fine too um I won't be wearing a you know a million layers underneath it so if you are up north and have to have actually like a, you know a bunch of layers maybe go with like your normal size but if you're just you know me can be rocking in 60 degree weather and you have like one layer on probably go down a size just 
little tip for me to go. How great is this though? I love tapestry. I finally found a thrifted tapestry skirt. Cannot wait, cannot wait to wear that for y'all. Um, a fake, fake pocket, kind of sad about that. Um, and it like buttons across and all these like button, they don't like whatever they just have like these, these big kind of severe buttons, but how cute is that? I can't wait to wear that. Last but not least, it's on my Instagram. I don't know what I called myself, like a pimp Muppet or something, but I mean, that's all, that's the only way to describe the scout. We'll just start slow. Yeah. Ooh, ceiling fan. It goes to blue. I don't know if you can see that. So it's about knee length. I'll just slip that on for you folks. It's about knee length. Pink, burgundy, pink again, blue, faux fur. I mean, it is like snuffleupagus. That's right. Snuffleupagus chic is happening right here on Style Rehab. <laughs> okay. I know the last time, was it the last video or the first video? I talked about my gaudy southern heart. I'm like, do I have the balls to wear certain things? I mean, this coat, let's see if I can do like a, oh God, without you seeing all the crap on my floor. Like, look at this coat, like all the way down, blue. Um, this is a lot. I live in Clearwater, Florida. So I already get crazy looks because I'm wearing, you know, cross earrings and an Elvis t-shirt and a band jacket. Now I'm going to throw on this Snuffleupagus pimp fur. But I am not exactly sure where I'm going to wear this jacket to. I'm sure people will love it because I love it. But holy crap. Um, he's now on sale like hardcore sale, he is now like $85. Um, so if you want him, snag him. I, I broke the hanger every time. Get some better hangers, folks. Get some better hangers. Um, every time. So he's pretty, pretty fantastic. What size did I get? I think I got my normal, normal size. Um, can I try to hang you up? Are you gonna break? He also snaps like that other, like the um, tapestry coat. He snaps as well, a little snappy snap. See, snaps, super cute. So that's kind of my recent ASOS things. Oh wait, two earrings. So I bought four pairs of earrings. Two of them I sent back because one, so I love anything animal. Snakes, lions, and tigers. If it's an animal, snake, tiger, elephant, lion, you know, earring, necklace, bracelet, whatever, I'll probably buy it. So they called, I don't have them to show you, but maybe I'll link them below my kind of like my ASOS fails. Sorry, ASOS. Um, they called Statement Snake Earrings. So I'm thinking they're gonna be Statement, huge. I get them, they're like this big. That big, that, that's a Statement. So it's like these tiny little snakes with like little gold tassels, tiny. I have that song from like the 90s, like, don't want no short, short, sorry. It's really inappropriate. Um, anyway, if you don't know it, don't worry about it. And if you do, you can have a little chuckle. Um, so I returned those because they were not a statement. They were, I mean, they probably are a fine size. I just wanted, I mean, if it's gonna be a snake earring, I want it to be a snake earring. Returned them. I got these guys though, kind of pink glitter with some turquoise stones. Thought they were super cute. No clue what I'm going to wear them with, but I thought they were really fun. Really cute, right? Really cute. They have really cool jewelry. I've been buying a lot of ASOS jewelry right um, late, as of lately. These bad boys. Um, because at first Aldo is like my, my earring place and they've kind of, I don't know, I haven't bought a whole lot from them yet. But ASOS, if I, wear, if I have a big earring, 90% of the time it's going to be from ASOS because it's just pretty fantastic. And then these bad boys, I didn't think I was going to look. Sorry, I have faux fur on my face drop them um I didn't think they were going to be as big in person as they are in as they were on the website screw that up but they're bigger than I thought they were going to be which I'm okay with that 
insert obvious size matters joke here. That's what she said and so on. Um, and they're actually kind of cooler than I thought they were gonna be in person. So they're like, so it's like tortoise shell, but it's like a light tortoise shell, then like a regular tortoise shell, and then like a medium. I mean, how cool, people always do that. I don't understand that, but I guess it kind of helps. How cool is that? And like, oh, wait, hold on. Like with this? Shut up, can't wait for that. Um, so those are my recent purchases. I was gonna call them like my, my Black Friday haul, but now we've obviously passed the Black Friday by like a month. So maybe some notches, it's a Christmas to myself. Um, do you wanna see some previous ASOS purchases? I'll run through them really quickly. Got this red dress for a photo shoot that I never shot. Just a really cute, long, pretty like red dress, but I loved the like sexy open back. These are no longer available because they're hella old. This dress, which I think I'm gonna wear on TV soon. I think he used to tie. I don't really know what he does. He's ugly. Let's take him off. Um, I loved him. I love the pleats and such. Super cute with like a belt and a fur. Shut up. I'll put that on there too. Um, oh, this guy, I, I photographed him. Fringe, fringy sleeves. Look at those fringy sleeves. Shut your mouth. I think he's still available. Maybe. I'll try to find him. He comes in curve and regular. I got the curve because it was a longer with like a longer length, which I liked better on me. This ditty, which I have been dying to wear. Yep, that's what that is. Yep, that guy. And then I got this super cute, I don't, he, he's too big, but what can you do? Super cute sweater dress. I love him. People, don't ever hang your sweaters like this, because you're gonna stretch out, A, you're gonna get a weird dent in the shoulder, but then also knits, they, they're heavy, they're, it, it will grow long way because of the weight. Don't hang up your sweaters, fold them. If you can't fold them, just throw them over the hanger, don't hang them. Okay, so that's all older stuff that you, it probably is not available, so I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show you. So I've been loving ASOS lately, um, I'm like an addict. Um, sorry, I hope that wasn't insensitive to drug dealers or drug users. Um, so that was kind of my ASOS and Mod Cloth haul. I probably will order again from Mod Cloth and probably order, oh, of course, I'll order from ASOS again because that's like crazy because I freaking love that place now. Um, so that's it. That's everything. That is me. Um, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, like, subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear your comments or feedback. Anybody else from Florida who has a, a coat? addiction, please drop your name below. I'd love to meet a fellow uh, code addict. Um, hope you guys have a great holiday. I'll see you next year. Bye.